Hello and good morning class. Uh, I have your skills assessment for PE 164, my yoga Pilates class. So I'm going to go over um, this with you. If you'd like to do the test with me, you can, or you can just listen to uh, how to do it and you can do it on your own as well. Basically, all you need is a block. If you don't have a block, um, a book or something that's about three inches or so would do. So the very first assessment is hamstring flexibility. So it says, can you touch your toes from a standing position? If not, how far can you touch? So your feet are gonna start together. You're basically just going down to the ground. Can your fingertips touch? Maybe your knuckles touch. Maybe your palms can touch. If your palms can touch the ground, you could stand on your block. And then you could measure your um, flexibility, how far you can go down. So you'll just, you just say in your own words underneath pretest um, how far that you reached. The yoga muscular endurance, it says, can you transfer from a down dog position to an up dog position back into a down dog position? And this is just a yes or a no. So I'll demonstrate what that looks like. So your down dog position, slowly bending your elbows, the nose, the chin, the chest to an up dog. And then we're gonna reverse that into a down dog. So that would either be yes, you can do that or no. You would circle either or. Number three, Pilates core strength. We're gonna keep our heels on the ground. Can you roll down on a count of four and back up on a count of four without jerking or using your arms? So in our Pilates roll up, our heels are digged into the ground. We take a nice deep breath in. We're coming down for four, three, two, one. Inhale up, two, three, and four. So if you could do that, you circle yes. If maybe you came down and you fell down, or you came up and then you had to grab your legs, then you would circle no. And once again, we're just trying to improve by the end of the quarter. Um, then we go down to number four, core strength. How many seconds can you hold a boat pose for? Your back and legs are straight, your feet are off the ground. Max hold is 10 seconds. So in the boat position, our feet are up, they are straight. I don't have my hands on the ground, my arms are out and you count how many seconds you can hold that position. And we, we can do that together in just a little bit. Number five, shoulder flexibility. Can you touch both fingers both ways? So if I'm my right arm up, can I touch my fingers? Either yes or no. Left arm up, can I touch my fingers? Yes or no. Um, and on that sheet of paper, you could say yes with my right arm up, no with my left arm up. So just do your own, own notes in there, which is fine. Okay, we're gonna go to number six. So number six is your shoulder stability. So it says get into a low plank position on your forearms and on your toes. Keep your shoulders directly over your elbows and your hips and legs off the ground. You're gonna hold for 30 seconds. Alternate a leg lift 30 times and then reach out alternating arms, just arms, not legs another 30. When your body touches the ground, that's your score. Your maximum time is 90. So it looks like this. We start on our toes and on our forearms. We count to 30 seconds, all right? Then it's alternating. So that would be after 30 seconds, this would be 31, 32, 33, all the way to 60. And then just arms, 61, 62. If you get to 63, you stop. Your score was 63. Okay, and we'll do that together in a little bit. Number seven, um, you're gonna lay starting first on your right side. Um, your feet are gonna be stacked. You're gonna lift up on your forearm and hold hips off the ground. Feet are stacked for 30 seconds. Next 30 seconds, you're gonna lift your top foot up um, to your knee. And then the following 30 seconds would be lifting your leg and arm off the ground. So your maximum score on this would be 90 seconds. So the first 30 seconds, we're holding, and our hands off the ground. Next 30 seconds, our knee is up. Last 30 seconds, we're all the way up. Whenever your hip touches, that would be your score. And then of course you would do your left side as well. Uh, then we move on to our crunches for 60 seconds. So basically we lay down, we should be able to touch our heels, heads on the ground, hands are on top of the thighs. We're gonna reach up and we're trying to come up to the tops of our knees and back down again as many times as we can. And that's in 30 seconds, or excuse me, 60 seconds. And then our push-ups. So if you have a block, 
use your block or if you have that same book or whatever you can use, you're gonna decide for the whole minute if you're gonna do push-ups on your toes or push-ups on your knees, okay? Um, but you don't wanna switch back and forth. So if you're gonna choose to stay on your toes, stay on your toes the whole time. If you're gonna choose to stay on your knees, choose your knees the whole time, okay? And then just make sure that you circle where it says knees or toes, because then you wanna do the exact same way at the end of the um, quarter, okay? So if you got that, go ahead and you can just time yourself on your own. If you want to join me, um, I will time you, All right? Uh, so let's go ahead, we are going to um, skip down to the uh, core strength, so number four. The first three you can do on your own. Uh, steal my clock here. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna start with number four, which is the boat hold, all right? And then as soon as your knees bend or you can't keep that good form, you're gonna stop your count. Get in your position, ready, set, and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. If you could do all 10 seconds, go ahead and write 10 seconds down on number four. Okay, shoulder flexibility number five you can do on your own. Let's go ahead and flip over that sheet of paper and go to number six, shoulder stability. So we're gonna get into our low plank position and I will use my clock to start you. All right, so getting ready in three, two, one, and lift. So squeeze the glutes, nothing touches the ground except for the forearms and the toes, holding it here for 30 seconds. We're 10 seconds into it right now. We're at 20 seconds. So if you're down to the ground, that's when you would end. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Lift a leg, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 10 more, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, just an arm, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 10 more, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 7, 88, 89, and 90. All right, if you could do all that, you'd write 90 seconds. And that is for the number six. <clears throat> and then we're gonna go to our right and left shoulder stability. So this is the one that we're gonna lay on our side. We're gonna stack our feet and we're gonna lift everything up, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and start with that right side. We're gonna start in 10 seconds. And once again, once your hips touch the ground, that's the time that you write down. Ready and lift, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, now put your foot to your knee, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, keep the hips up, 41, 42, 43, 44, 
46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, arm and leg up, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. So if you could do all 90, go ahead and write that down. If maybe you stopped at 20 seconds, write 20 down. Okay, so now we're going to do the left side. Same exact thing. Okay, we're going to start in 15 seconds. in that left side, getting ready, feet are stacked, hips never touch the ground, and lift, one, two, three, four, keeping your hand on top of your hips so we don't want to support, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, knee to toe, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, get ready, hand and arm up, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 2, 3, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, and 90. Nice job, everybody. Okay, go ahead and record that, and then we go to number eight for crunches. So you're going to lay on your back, knees are bent, fingertips are touching the heels, so you know that your knees are bent enough. Place your hands on your thighs, lift your head and shoulders off the ground, fingers touch the tops of the knees as many times as you can in 60 seconds. All right. We're going to start in five seconds. So we're going to lay on our back, touch our heels with our fingertips, ready and go. Make sure that you're counting every time you touch those knees. You're already halfway through. We got 15 seconds. If you need to take a break, take a break and then just keep coming along with this as soon as you're ready. 10 seconds. Keep breathing in four. Three, two, and one. Good. So that was one minute. Go ahead and write down underneath the pretest test on number eight how many crunches that you did. And then our last one is the push ups. So this is as many push ups as you can do. Uh, once again, you're going to circle whether you want to do them on your knees or your toes. Your chest doesn't have to touch the ground. You can use that block again. If I choose to be on my knees, okay, I'm touching the block and I'm coming all the way up. My thighs aren't touching the ground. My belly's not touching the ground. If I'm on my toes, right, my chest is going to touch and I'm going to come back up. All right, so go ahead and circle whether you want to be on your knees or your toes for this next minute. And we're starting in five seconds. In four, three, two, and go.
And you can take a break whenever you need to and then just go back in again. Almost there. We're halfway through. We have 15 seconds left. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and time. All right, that's the end of your fitness assessment. Make sure that you turn those in by midnight, um, and hopefully you will improve by the end of the quarter. All right, thank you. Have a good day.